a couple days late, but we're here to listen to the TXT album, the name chapter, Free Fall. And yes, I am going to keep my video like this today. It's giving a YouTuber that's about to give an hour-long video essay, deep diving into, like, iCarly lore, and I'm here for it. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Landon and we are here again today for some more TXT action. I wanted to listen to their new album so I could jam out to it, but I really need to get on camera so I'm coming at you on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I you know. Today we're going to be listening to the remaining six songs on the album. We've already heard Chasing That Feeling, Do It Like That, and Back For More. So today we're going to be listening to the remaining six songs on the album. I hope that you're excited. I'm so excited for some more TXT music. I have said this in my other reactions. The singles that have come out, Back For More, Do It Like That, Chasing That Feeling, they were good. Not my like quintessential favorite TXT stuff I've ever heard, but I've heard that the B-sides are where it's at. So we're going to start today with number one called Growing Pain. Let's go. The lyric video got him looking like a little fairies. She was a fairy. Okay, rock out. Rock out. Oh, it's bringing back my emo days. And see, this sounds nothing like the singles that I've heard, either. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just have such a variety. They can give you everything you need. Look how dark I am on this side. Does this look weird? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You just gotta face it. It's not just like rock. It's like rock. You know? Oh, oh, get the rock break down too? Oh, oh. Terry! <laughs> stop, stop. Okay, Free Fallen. A Growing Pain, sorry, that's the name of the song. I really enjoyed that. Let me tell you this too, by the way. I noticed there are six songs on this album, usually high, but blocks the videos if it's five or more, so make sure you're watching part one right now and then part two. You gotta go find it, okay? It's gonna be like a little scavenger hunt. Just kidding, it's gonna be in the end screen. But <laughs> I enjoyed that. After hearing the first couple songs from them that they've released, very 80s themed, vintage themed, like very minimalistic kind of production, this is just like literally a breath of fresh air to me because I knew they would come with it. Like I knew that they would always bring variety to their album. It reminds me of this one song from a long time ago, all you rockheads might know, called Breathe Into Me by Red, when they do Fallen. Fallen. 
Y'all yeah, remember that song from back in the day, man? Ooh, it just gave me those type of vibes, too. And like I said, it's not just like rock. It's rock, okay? You know, like a lot of these groups lately are like doing these rock phases and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'll throw a guitar in there. But something about that just, you had the vibe with it. You had like the real rock feeling involved in it, okay? That was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And the next song we're going over today is one called Dreamer. So just let me continue to be a dreamer, okay? Let's hear it. Okay. See, like slowing it down already. It's giving Tay Young layover vibes already. Yeah, dude, why are you gonna be like that in this picture? You see everybody else being normal? You see them all being normal? I don't know if it's because of the pictures, but this feels like a a deep cut, you know what I'm saying? Toes? I mean, you're hitting them falsettos. Damn. Subi. They, this is a sex song. Y'all are, baby, stop it. These high registers are all hitting. The little distortion they have on their voice. You don't, I, I feel like I need to walk out the room. <laughs> I feel like I'm invading something. I'm, I'm like interrupting something private. That was like an R&B field. Um, sex song. <laughs> That's like, uh, TXT. We're supposed to be rocking out having fun. We're young. We're, f okay. Maybe I'm just old. Maybe I'm just fucking old. <laughs> I enjoy that though. Their voices and that were so beautiful. The way that they were hitting all those high notes, the stars. But then like, yeah, you had to come be like, let me break it down for you. I'm like, bitch, ain't nobody asked for a summary. Show the whole thing, you know? You don't need to break it down. <laughs> All right, Mr. TXT. We're gonna be moving on now to another song called Deep Down. And this one also sounds like it's gonna have some kind of like hints, notions like what? And I'm loving this person, Shadow by Yoongi over here doing all these like edits. I don't know if it's edits of these photos. They all look like AI art art, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh oh, this feels like lore. This is lore. What happened to the lore? Like You hit your own horn? What do you mean break you? Tell me, tell me, 
Unexpected drop. Okay, now I'm in like a club in Ibiza. I need some alcohol. It's coffee. It's 9 a.m. Get out your head. Oh. I thought it was going to be like very 80s with that synth sound. But wait, do the breakdown again, please. I love this. I fucking love this. They put love and thought into this songs. Oh, oh, oh. What is the dance to this? That's gotta be a dance, right? Y'all make it viral, or something. It's meant for a dance. This can't be it. See, like, and they leave you wanting more. That's the one thing I just love about TXT. And no hate or shade to anybody else's albums that I listen to, I promise. But something about TXT just feels like they put a little bit of dash of love in every single song that they do. Like, they're making 50, 60 songs, and they're picking only the ones that can each be individual hits, that each have meaning, and are not filler. You know? And I hate to say it, I'm not gonna say who I'm thinking of, but, like, a lot of songs out there, to me, feel like filler. And, I don't know, TXT just always comes through with it. I love that a lot. I mean, I think that that drop is probably one of my favorite parts of this album maybe besides the rock start it might be one of my faves and though i'm not a big fan of like the vintage and 70s stuff 80s uh music that they have in a lot of their singles or inspired by i just knew they would come with it with the b-sides it's not going to be an entire 80s vintage themed album they're gonna have a little bit of something for everybody okay if you like me cat i'm your duck okay i think about that song every day I'd love to know them by name. So, 